Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, there are still many questions Outlander needs to answer before the show ends. For me, and I know for many of you, the most important of these questions revolve around Jamie, mostly because I am obsessed with him and want to learn everything about him as soon as possible. But also because he's been involved in some things that I have never seen truly explained, like his ghost appearing in the 1940s or his realistic dreams about the future. For some part, Diana Gabaldon was generous enough to help us understand what's going on with Jamie. But for the rest, I have my own theories. Now it's time to talk about how Jamie's ghost ended up in front of Claire's window and how Frank could see him and not Claire. I will also dive into Jamie's dreams and explain his ability of second sight. And finally, I will try to answer this question. When will we finally get an explanation for all this? We won't get anything if we look only at the show for answers. Think about Jamie's ghost. I only know this is supposed to be Jamie's ghost because Diana Gabaldon said so. We never saw this issue being revisited in the show again. So ghosts exist in the Outlander universe like Otter Tooth. And since Jamie was in a different time and location, I'm rightfully assuming spirits can travel anywhere, anytime. But why was it Jamie's younger self standing in front of the window in his signature Highlander clothes? Diana gave me a clue in one of her interviews. She said that Jamie's ghost is 25 years old in this scene. At age 25, Jamie was at the Battle of Culloden, right after he sent Claire back through the stones. He was in terrible shape, having just killed Black Jack Randall and used all this strength to fight. He was about to die and saw visions of Claire. One could even say he was between life and death. So he might have been able to project himself into the future as a ghost. But there is also this possibility. Let's assume Claire and Jamie lived happily ever after and died at the end of season 8 or at the end of the Outlander books. After their death, Jamie's ghost could travel anywhere, and in this case, to see the love of his life, just to look after her until she comes to him with the first time travel. He will look like his younger self because it was his prime. Even in many religions, it is believed that you will look like your most youthful and healthiest self in the afterlife. This may be the case here. I am also wondering why it was Frank who saw Jamie's ghost rather than Claire. If you remember, there is also a ghost of Frank in the Outlander series who goes to the past. He shows himself to Bray in Season 4, Episode 7. I believe as two men who loved Claire and Brianna so much, both men are ensuring Claire and Bree are safe and sound, both in the past and the future. That's why Frank was able to sense Jamie. It was almost as if Jamie was assuring Frank, I am here to protect her when you're not here. That could be why Jamie's ghost disappeared when only Frank came close to the house. Now, Jamie's dreams. How do they tie into all of this? In the show, Jamie just talks about his dreams, which are literally about the future. But Claire does not even show an ounce of surprise. She doesn't wonder how this could be possible. I'm sure this is because the showrunners don't know how to explain this yet. But still, Claire's lack of interest in Jamie's dreams is underwhelming. Thanks to Diana, we know how Jamie's dreams work. It's not his ghost going to the future and telling him about it, or it's not astral projection. It's the ability of second sight. The person who has this ability can have visions of future events. For centuries, Scottish Highlanders believed that some people had this gift. The Scots even thought those with this gift had the Highlander privilege reserved for only a few. Some even believed this could be a trait passed down from a parent to a child. So in the Outlander prequel, which will focus on Jamie's parents, we may see more about this. Anyway, Jamie's dreams don't have anything to do with time travel or anything else. He just has second sight. I know it sounds weird, but so does time travel. The final part of this video is dedicated to answering the one question. For Jamie's ghost, everything will be answered in the last Outlander book, which is being written right now. I don't think the book will be finished until season 8, so we may never hear that explanation on the show. As for Jamie's dreams, there is little to explain. If he has second sight, then he has second sight. Maybe they could talk about this in a conversation or two, which would be sufficient. Right now, this is all I have to say about these mysteries. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.